dear America, where have you been? You used to tell me stories of hope and bravery. You used to tell me about the flag that was still there. One nation under God. I used to wear red, white, and blue, singing our songs in the summer heat. You never come outside to play anymore. Mommy says it's because you're trying to keep out terrorists. What's a terrorist? Dear America, I started high school today. The doors are lined with coats of armor. An officer stands with a firearm and children scan the streets for predators. Uncertain footsteps down our crowded hallways waiting to be the next victim. Dear America, my school had its first lockdown. We were told to hide in the corner, silent. Waiting for the attacker through a thin wall. Why do we wait in the shadows? Why do we wait to be shot? Dear America, how many final texts will students have to send to their parents under a desk for us to be safe again? Dear America, the school near me was attacked on Valentine's Day. I watched the television in horror, blood boiling in my body as I saw the death toll rise. My stomach churned as we returned to school the next day, as if nothing had happened. Students laughing because we are so used to these occurrences that it is nothing more than an afternoon thunderstorm. When did children become secret soldiers? And when did schools become a battlefield? Dear America, I know what it means. Terrorism. We learned about 9-11 in history class. Dear America, when did my city become a hashtag? You told me this would never happen to me. You promised me that my streets weren't crowded with mentally ill, that they are the real problem. But I'm starting to think that the problem is you. Dear America, why does the flag fly in the middle more than the top? America, why do you think that thoughts and prayers are enough to save us from being another news story? Dear America, today a lady was telling us we are strong, that my generation is braver than hers. Maybe it's because we were forced to be this way to survive. Maybe it's because she was too afraid to say the words gun violence, and we are not. Our hearts break for Boston. Colorado. Orlando. New York. Texas. Parkland. Dear America, when will you start listening? When will my words be more than just noise to you? When will my words be more than just a worn out pair of shoes that has been left on a roadway to rot in the heat? I have a mouth but no one's listening. Why are my words the cold, dead silence of an empty house? Or a scream at the bottom of a swimming pool? Dear America, please wear back soon. Love, Taylor. Lucas. Ben. Emily. Evan. With love. Generation Z.